Hi friends, I am Malu Sriraj. Welcome to our YouTube channel. Today I am going to deal with some low power VLSI designs. First is dynamic CMOS logic. Here NMOS and PMOS are connected with a simple clock. And inputs are connected to the this N logic block. And from here we will get the output Z. Okay. Here we can implement any logic equations and any logic gates. This is the basic structure of dynamic CMOS logic. Here, for example, dynamic NAND gate. NAND means A into B the old bar. So here, N logic blocks for NMOS. Multiplication means series. So A and B are connected in series. Okay. This is dynamic NAND gate. Next, domino logic. Here adding an inverter to the dynamic CMOS logic, we will get the domino logic. Okay. Then here also we can implement any logic equations and logic gates. Here one example, domino NAND, NAND means A into B the old bar. So for NMOS, multiplication means series. So here A and B are connected in series. Okay, this is domino NAND. Next, NMOS logic. Here, its gate is connected here and inputs are connected to the N logic blocks. From here we will get the output. This is the basic structure of NMOS logic. One example, NMOS NAND. So here, A into B the old bar. So for NMOS, multiplication means series. So A and B are connected in series. This is NMOS NAND. Okay, next pseudo NMOS. In pseudo NMOS, PMOS is always grounded. Okay. Then here, pull down network or N logic blocks. Pull down means N logic NMOS. N logic blocks are connected here. Inputs are applying to this N logic blocks or pull down networks. Okay. From here, we will get the output. This is the basic structure of pseudo NMOS logic. From here, we can implement any logic equations and any logic gates. Okay, here, uh, pseudo NAND logic. NAND means A into B the old bar for NMOS. Multiplication means series. So, A and B are connected in series. Okay, this is pseudo NAND logic. If it is pseudo NOR, then here A and B are connected in parallel. Any logic equations we can implement here. Okay. Next, fully complementary logic. Here, pull down transistors and here pull up transistors. That means here NMOS and here PMOS transistors are connected. Then it's in connecting their inputs. From the middle of this network, we will get the output F. Then example NOR. NOR means X plus Y the old bar. So, multi addition. So, for NMOS, it is connected in parallel. X and V are connected in parallel. For PMOS, just opposite to the NMOS, that is, uh, it is connected in series. Then, connect their inputs. From the middle of this network, we will get the output G is equal to X plus Y the all bar. Okay. Then next to NAND. NAND means X into Y the all bar. That means here multiplication for, um, for NMOS. Multiplication means series. So X and Y are connected in series. For PMOS, uh, multiplication means parallel. So A and X and Y are connected in parallel. Then connect their inputs. Then NOT means just like a inverter CMOS it is a CMOS inverter 
this is nmos and this is pmos and connect their inputs from here we will get the output complementary output here it is 0 here it is 1 the next dc vsl logic here pmos networks are latches latched then here two pull down networks inputs are applied to this pull down networks that means n logic blocks okay from here we will get the output out and from here we will get the output out bar here one example nand and gate okay here so here we are applying a b are connected in series here a b are connected in series so here a b connected in parallel so here true inputs are applied here complementary inputs are applied to this terminal here series here parallel here true inputs here complementary inputs from here we will get the output a b the all bar from here we will get the output out bar is equal to a b okay this is dc vsl nand and gate next pass transistor logic here two signals that is control signals and pass signals control signals are applied to the gate terminals pass signals are applied to the source terminals this is a basic structure then here we will get the output then here b and b complement are the control signals here a and 0 are the pass signals if b is equal to 1 a will pass into the pass, pass to the output then b is equal to 0 then 0 passes to the output from here a b plus a complement into 0 that means a b is equal to a b that is our final output f is equal to a b okay this is and gauge okay next complementary pass transistor logic this is a basic structure of complementary pass transistor logic then here we are implementing and net means here b and b complement are the control signals here a b here b is equal to 1 a pass to the output so here a b plus b into b complement that is 0 so here we will get a b here our final output is f is equal to a b here here these inputs are just complement to these inputs that is here a b here a complement and b complement okay then here from here we will get the output f bar is equal to a b the all bar here we will get the and output here we will get the nand output okay these are the frequently asked university questions in law power VLSI designs. Okay, I hope you understand this topic. If you have any doubt, please share me. Okay, thank you.